G'day guys, Calvin from the Cartoon Company down under in New Zealand. I've just done a long video with the differences between ECUs and whether you can interchange them, focusing on, on these two. And I thought we needed a really quick version of that video for people who don't have time to watch the long one. Because not everyone wants to watch the long one and they want the answers quick. So let's give you the answers really quick. UCF-10 ECU, this is the second version of that ECU in the UCF-10 series. They changed the plug. It matches the UCF-20s, the whole range of the non-VVTIs. The plugs will plug in. So that means they interchange, right? Wrong! These do not interchange. They are different ECUs. You can plug them in, but they won't work. That was the fastest answer you could get. It doesn't work. Now for you guys that want some more details, let's move on. I'm going to cover the white plugs as well and the crown ones. So I hope that was good for you guys that wanted the quick answer. And for you guys that want more detail, keep on watching. We'll do a bit of a wind back. It's like deja vu. And off we go again. G'day guys, it's Calvin from the Cartoon Company in New Zealand. I frequently see guys asking, will my 91 ECU fit my 96? Or, I've got this loom and I don't have an ECU, so I've brought this other ECU and it plugs in, that's what I intend to use. That can cause some problems. And we're going to focus today on the uh, 92 to 94, late 94 ECU, uh, and then the late 94, early 95, through to 97 ECU. And that's the last of the UCF-10 and the beginning of the UCF-20, um, non-VVTI. Because I think you're absolutely nuts if you're thinking about running a VVTI ECU on your non-VVTI engine. That's just crazy talk. I've got the two harnesses in question laid out on my bench here. And we can see some real quick differences, like yeah, there's different grommets. but They kind of look the same. And I, I thought I, it was a bit of a push of the imagination to do it like this. I think I'm going to lay them onto Old Yeller and actually have a workout and have a look. Let's go through the ECUs really quickly. Let's have a really quick look and it'll make a lot of sense. This is two VVTI 1UZ ECUs. Look, at th that one's probably not going to work because it's had a little bit of a smack. Enough to be in the case. But these two ECUs, the plugs are the same. However, the pinout between this one and this one is not the same. And, and that one's stuffed as well. Internally, it's buggered. And very different to all of those ones. We'll bin those. Asking if you can fit an SC400 ECU. Oh, wait, that's a crown. That's SC400. Very similar. SC400, I think I might have got that wrong. The Sora is the narrow ECU, and the Crown is the wider of the ECUs. Just in case someone was actually paying attention. I like to get these things right. Into my LS400 or Celsius. Do any of these look like they'll plug into that? No, simple, moving on. Oh, we're playing dominoes. We have a 91 ECU. So this is um, 89, 90 to the sort of the middle of 92 in most markets. Well, this ECU doesn't look even close to these later ones. No! Let's get rid of that one. Done. 
Ooh. So the two ECUs we're actually going to have in question is this one and that one. They are both the same plugs offset in the ECU. That's a white one, that's a grey one. This is in the middle of the header. You can see it's quite a wide one. Just to throw a cat among the pigeons here, I'm going to throw that one in. And you can see it's narrower. UCF 20, UCF 20, UCF 10, UCF. Nothing Ooh, to see no, here. No, it's not a UCF. Move UZS along. 151, non VVTI. So, we're going to come back to that, just, just keep it in your back of your mind. Looms. Let's throw these onto an engine and have a look, because we can clearly see that these ones are the same plugs. Just wait, wait, we're going in. Oh, got it. Oh, it's upside down. Uh, there we go. Is that a plug in that one? Let me put this upside down. Perfect. Right, let's get old yellow. Come here, old yellow. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come to me. Oh, good old yellow. Um, I'm going to put it the way I normally put it. It's all tucked up. Oh, did you come too? Oh, did you hear me calling? Good girl. Right, we have old yellow. What crazy man had this loom on there? Oh, I don't know what that's doing there. Let's just get rid of this for a moment. Oh, holy jeez, what's that doing on there? We'll get rid of that. So I'm laying on the UCF-10 harness first. He's a little bit messy, this one. That's probably why it's still hanging on my shelf. So the configuration, the layout of these engines and the non vdti is, is all the same. Same intake manifold, same top plenum. So a lot of stuff can be interchanged. Temp sensors in the same place. There we go. There is the UCF-10 wiring harness sitting on the engine. Now I'm going to lay the UCF-20 straight over the top. No, I'm not trying to run it on two wiring looms. There we go. Two wiring looms, both on the same engine. Let's have a comparison. So let's look at the injector plugs. They are both the same. So they're going to fit. However, there may be a difference in injector sizing. So you need to check that. The diagnostic boxes. Interesting enough, they have different pins available in each of these. So both the same. I think this one you'd actually get communication if it was wired correctly in a conversion and in a factory car that one would, whereas this one won't gain communication with a scan tool. It's missing a couple of critical pins. Now these are both a Celsius and this six pin here, it's the same on all of the engines. So that's easy. However, this four pin, hmm. These are a Celsius, so they have a hydraulic fan. This is an LS400 one. No hydraulic fan. Half of the pins are missing. Water temp sensors, the same. Uh, oh, these ones, those are both the same. Coils, the same. 
And you'll see that this one has a loom through the center. Steppers, plug in, TPS. This is a traction control loom. This is non, TPS are the same. Sub TPS, well, that one doesn't have one because it's not a traction control and this one's got a traction control wire. Now we get to some interesting stuff here. Wiring looms come around the side. Come over into this area here where we have the igniters. This one's got an oxygen sensor. That's the UCF20. And airflow meters. Igniters are all the same, right? They all plug in, don't they? I have three options of igniter in front of me. Let's answer that question. One, two, three. Big number. One, two, three. And what am I on here? UCF20. Yeah, that... Oh, fuck, if I push it really hard, it might get it on. Oh, yeah. Nah. That ain't gonna happen. UCF10. Oh, yeah. Uh, nah, just breaks the plug. Won't fit. 201. Let's grab this UCF20. Oh, oh look, look, if I push it hard enough, it almost goes on. Oh, yeah. Oh. The plug is actually a different shape. So... If you're really animal, you can push it on, but you're going to get some major running issues if you fit the wrong igniter on a UCF 20 1UZ. Simple. Oh. Let's try it on the UCF 10. Oh. Slips in lovely. That's a great feeling when it just slips straight in like that. So that is the correct igniter, 201s, for this wiring loom. So get the right igniter for that. Where is this one? Oh. CHD1. Will it fit this 10? Oh, it fits because I broke the plug, <laughs> but not very well. We've actually got a small notch there and a, a big tab there. So if you're really animal, Again, it'll go on, but you're going to have issues. Let's put it on the correct one, shall we? Oh, lovely. So let's use the correct igniter, shall we? Keep the correct igniter with the correct loom. Right, airflow meters. They are all the same, aren't they? They've got to be. Well, they, they sure do look the same. Yeah, that, that looks the same. They must work the same, eh? And... Those plugs look totally the same. Do you detect a little bit of sarcasm? UCF, oh wait, wrong one. UCF 10 takes the alloy body. Interesting enough, that one gets a five volt signal from the ECU. This one, UCF 20, it gets a 12 volt. As I was saying, before I tried to plug it into the igniter plug, the UCF 20 gets a 12 volt signal to run it. That wire there. But I'm just gonna clarify what I said there because it sounded a bit funny. There's a man with a chainsaw. Somewhere there's a man with a chainsaw. So the alloy body gets a five volt power supply from the ECU. It's the same wire as the TPS. And the later model gets a 12 volt power supply that's external from the ECU. It's supplied from the main relay. So that's just important. The signals going back, the early one is a frequency, and the later ones are zero to five volt analog signal. 
Airflow meters, different. Igniters, different. Moving around here, we'll see the loom is slightly different. Now one's got the plastic, one's got the conduit. Start plug. Now there's some interesting something to know about. One's over here and one's over there. But they are the same connector on those starts. Let's go down the transmission. Oh, we got some oxygen sensors popping off. They are the same. There, it's okay. Come down here. We're okay with the speed sensor. Shifter plug. Transmission solenoid plug. Both the same. This one has got a speedo sensor on the back. So it's got an extra sensor on the transmission. And that lack of the rear speed sensor on the UCF20 is why I really like that firing link to work with. Right, let's look at the ECU side. As we come down, you can see there's a little bit of a difference in here. Flexi rubber, flexi flexi, and hard plastic on a clip, different shape grommet. We probably should spend actually a moment on the, the body plugs to see that they're different as well. Good way of identifying your looms. This is the UCF-10. This is, so this is the later UCF-10, not the earliest. And we've got these three uh, engine harness to body harness connectors. Whereas the UCF-20, it's got that one. That's uh, because this was traction control. But it's got these two of the main ones. This little fella here and this, this quite big 26-pin plug. Uh, normally it's got like a sweeper on it. Well, it's got normally got these little tabs tagged on the outside. And this one's normally got like a lever that goes around. It's, it's broken on this one. So we can see from that that the wiring looms are physically different and they've got some different components. Now let's look at the ECU and let's discuss whether with some wiring changes we could make them work. We're at the ECU. I have UCF 10, plug, 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 plug. That plugs in. UCF 20, that's with the offset header plug. Yep, that, that plugs in. And this is the white plug UCF20. All plugs in. If the ECU's plug in, they must work, shouldn't they? Toyota must have made the other components on the engine not plug in because you can't swap them. But the ECU plugs in, so it must work, eh? Again, possibly being sarcastic, they don't work, and I'll show you why. These two are the same thing. The only thing that changes on some of them is if they've got security. These two ECUs are both Japanese, and I heard it suggested the other day that if it's got a white plug, then it's got um, security in it. That's not the case. This is a non-security ECU, 50380. This is a non-security, 50252. And that's a really late one. That is a UCF20 immobiliser. Not common. Only on a few of them in UK and the US. Some of these, if they have security, they do reverse the coil trigger wires. So just watch that. Can be interchanged. And this one here, I use these frequently. This, if it was an LS400, would have a viscous fan on the engine. 
However, this one, being crown, also has a viscous fan. So this is like the US LS400, being out of a crown. However, no EGR. No EGR. Plug it into the correct loom. And this is the real big difference. The airflow meter. That works differently. And this is group injection. So we're going to get right in close here. There are the four injector drives. There are the four injector drives. Group injection. Different airflow meter, different igniters. But a lot of the pins interchange. And you'll notice on this plug, those two and those two are spare. They're not used up. So there's four extra extra holes on that plug. On the UCF20, two extra injector drives there, and two extra injector drives there. This is sequential. So straight away we can see there's a difference right there. And hot wire airflow meter. This one gets 5 volt supply from the ECU. This gets a 12 volt supply externally. And that is why we can't interchange and plug in to these different looms the UCF10 into the UCF20 or the 20 into the 10. And I know this because I kind of did it. Well, it wasn't actually me. Not personally. But I had an auto electrician working for me. And he did beautiful work. But often it didn't actually work properly. It didn't function correctly, which was kind of annoying for me. We had two to do. I was wiring a US um, domestic market LS400 engine. So it was a Lexus with EGR. And he was wiring a Hilux Ute. Well, it was actually started as a Gen 2 Surf. Had the Lexus in it with a manual had a single cab body put onto it, and a flat deck. I'm not sure I can find any photos, but it was a really cool little truck. We put good suspension through it, and it went really, really well. Well, my auto sparky was wiring that, and he made it run. I don't actually know how, and it's a tribute probably to the fact that Lexus, um, I just, you can do things wrong, and they will still run terribly and that's why a lot of people have trouble because they get them going but they're never right well he got this one running and it really annoyed me because he hadn't followed the procedure of checking the components beforehand and because he was my staff member i had to pay him and that annoys me as it, see it probably still annoys me today because it's still in my memory banks so it's really important to do this correctly and check your components it stuck with me because it's, it's a memorable truck and it's a memorable problem. And of course, I've never made that mistake again. I always check, I'm doing them myself. I can look really quickly, match the components and most of them are in here. But if you don't have the what's in my brain, there's Toyo DIY. Dial some numbers in, find out what you've got, check the components all match. This is also why I sell proper wiring instructions on how to set these up. And it's knowledge like that that you get to tap into when you get my information. And you get a little bit of my time to answer questions. I know that there's two main different UCF20 wiring looms with some different pins in the master plug and the main body plugs. There's different pinouts, different colors wires. Colors don't bother me too much. This is the stuff that I've learned from many years of doing these. And when you buy my instructions, that knowledge is what you're paying for a little bit as well. So I'm saving you a lot of time to try and learn that by passing on this information. So UCF10 ECU does not work in a UCF20, and a UCF20 ECU 
does not work in a UCF tin. Really easy. If you have an engine and you want to swap ECUs, it's a whole loom swap and all the relevant components that go with it. Okay. What I recommend is get it all as a kit. Get it all as one package, matching out of the same vehicle, and you avoid these problems. And it'll cost you less in the long run in most cases. So I hope that's been helpful. Talk to you again soon. Catch you later.